Good morning, Cyber Traders. Welcome back. Hopefully, everybody's doing good on this beautiful Thursday, 23rd of January. How's everybody doing? Good to see you, Michael, Phil, everyone, Lita. Good to see you. Hope it's not too cold up there where you are, Lita, up in Canada. Good to see you, Rich, Chuck, Craig, everyone, Bali, everybody. Good to see you all. All right, guys. So, uh, listen, everybody heard about the big news that's going on right now? Everybody heard what's what's now becoming a more major news. Remember, I told you a long time ago that what will make catastrophes and opportunities is is a, is a trader's dream. And the big big news that's going on right now um, is obviously you heard what's going on in China. You got the coronavirus that's going on. Now I've been through this before uh, as a trader, and the question is like, okay, well, how's that help traders? Well, what's going to happen, Ebola, remember the Ebola virus? Yes, Josh, there he goes. That was another big uh, thing. I don't remember dealing with that a long time ago. That's right. Lake was like the stock out there. Thanks for sharing that, Josh. So the thing is this. This is going to be the big news right now, and this is what we're going to look for because every pharmaceutical stock now is going to go all in, and they're going to try to come out with this thing. It's now the same. They're going to make it a, a global. I mean, I never heard of you know them shutting down the, the city. Uh, due to this, I mean, other than watching the movie, if you guys ever watched the movie, um, what's that called, that movie, uh, uh, um, was it a big virus movie, oh, we're drawing a blank, uh, damn it, it's going to come to, Outbreak, thank you very much, Cliff, Dean, great movie, right, scary though, right, when you really think about the movie Outbreak, the government was going to literally blow up the whole city, they couldn't stop this thing, it was killing people left and right, unbelievable virus, well, yeah, listen, you know what? If you read some of the history, uh, old old histories of you know the Black Death and you know all that stuff, the you know uh, uh, all these crazy viruses that were out, out back then, you know, listen, it's it, it could be serious. So anyway, my point is this: unfortunately, it's a terrible thing, and I, we don't wish that on anybody. But you know that there's going to be pharmaceutical stocks are going to jump on the bandwagon. I think they said this one right here was M and R A was actually. One of the stocks uh, that might consider, I was just listening on CMB, uh, on Fox Business, you know, talking a little bit about it. I don't know. But uh, the plague, yeah, I mean, listen, we can talk about that all day. But listen, I would really, really focus on, you know, on these pharmaceutical stocks. Listen, we've been really great with pharmaceutical stocks. You saw what happened the last couple of days. A lot of them are very inexpensive. Um, we talked about FDA finally getting their, you know, getting, uh, taking the handcuffs off and not let these people spend you know, years and years and years and really getting these drugs on the market a lot quicker, you know, and stop with all this, uh, you know, uh, all this red tape that they have to go through. But I think this is going to really a, a very big hit. So be very, very careful and listen what's going on and look for these stocks because let me tell you, you know what? If any company brings up any news on any idea and think they have it, trust me, these things will go just like Lake, just like how Josh meant, uh, just talked about it. You know, let me just go back on Lake. Let me just bring that up. Bring up Lake. Yep, Lake. I, Lake was one of them. Um, Lake right here, back in fifteen. That's where it was, right there. That's right. It ran from six dollars all the way up to twenty-eight. So if you go back in history, you could see that. All right. So let me go back and let's start doing through the watch list. But before we do that, I just want to cover what happened yesterday. Uh, yesterday I had a really good day trading, and then I started, you know, you, you notice when you do your journals, you really, really hit it big if you're on the right one early. And then all of a sudden things started dying out little by little by little. So the big one uh, that we did pretty well was on was on the TRIL. That one did really, really well um, in the morning, TRIL. And let me fix my chart here so you see a little bit better. So yeah, so that thing just literally was a very inexpensive stock, had a nice little push, you know, really popped out of the gate. You could trade several thousand shares of it. We've done really well with that stock. You can see how the thing has been, had a really nice tear going into uh, December all the way up to uh, 350, which is now. So stock's been a fun stock. Trail's been treating us pretty well. Neo, you know, obviously that thing just, let me tell you, I, I lost money on Neo. And good thing I got out of it. I would have got crushed on that stock right there. Uh, you can see Neo had a really nice pop right out of the gate, and then she backed off uh, right around here. I, I got out. I bought it at 560, and then it went to like 68, 
And then I got out at like 52. Good thing I got out of 52, because look where it ended up. It went all the way down to 47. Remember the big thing that we teach you at Cyber Trade University. It's not about making money, okay? It's about knowing how to stop losing it. If everybody's making money, nobody would, nobody would need, need, need anybody, right? You can do it on your own. It's the losers you got to worry about. And remember, it's the hardest thing to teach, you know, how to, how to admit when you're wrong. And I have no problem admitting when I'm wrong. But anyway, that was a, a fun stock to trade. Lake also is, um, you know, listen, all these China stocks are obviously backing off now. Whatever goes up comes down twice as fast. Can't go broke taking a profit. Listen, this stock started, you know, right in, uh, in November at $20 at 50. I mean, listen, it could it go back. Of course it could, you know, but you know what? Pro people always are going to take profits. Space, the final frontier. SP, uh, SPCE, this thing has just been on a tear. I mean, this thing has been crazy, but the bad thing about this, it's not really a day trade. It's more of a swing trade. So be very, very careful trading this stock. Actually, I saw, um, and I'm putting it up back on my watch list again this morning. I remember it's funny. I was watching about this company. Uh, on, on, on a, I saw the CEO doing an interview on it, and he was just praising how great they're doing and how they're beating earnings and all this good stuff. I got to read the history on the company, what they do. It's pretty unique, but I guess, you know, once again, it definitely reflects the uh, Flex the stock. Okay, let's talk about what's moving this morning. A couple of interesting stocks moving pre market. I want to start off with the CODX. Stocks got great iceberg orders out there on the level three. We got a nice little push up 158%. But um, she started back off a little bit. So I think there's a little profit taking going on right now. We, you, some of you remember the stock. We traded it back here. And this thing had a big, big tear, short squeeze, 120, all the way to $2, right back down. So be careful of the knowing uh, if, the, if we were getting tied up in a short squeeze. Remember, take your profit and run. Another one that gapped up uh, pretty good going in after hours is this one, Slim, SLM, up 22%. You're going to have to go back in history uh, probably more than a year to find the resistance. Listen, right here, you see there's a 12,000 share seller out there at 1118. That's one, one of the reasons having a tough time breaking it. It's been sitting there almost since 8.30 this morning. Let's see if that guy gets done, and then we'll go from there. LPTX, another one that's moving this morning, this pre-market. Gapped up a little bit here. Nice little cheapy stock right here, up 12%, 200,000 shares. You know, testing uh, testing this resistance levels back here in January. Nice little mover stock, very inexpensive, good spread. We traded stock before. We've done pretty well with it. So uh, go check your journals and see how you did with it in the past. GNPX also found us in the pre-market. Um, stock's getting crushed, crushed. Talking about a short squeeze, you all know this one pretty well. We saw the stock go from $0.40 cents to $2. Look where she's going now, guys. You know what? And look at that. She looks like she's still going lower. So it's so funny. It just kicked in, too, just recently. Fausto flag, tank, you know. That's why you can't think. You can't, you, you can't hold these positions. You never know what could happen. The one I like the best this morning is the APT. Uh, she's... She's, she gapped up. She's been new, she did pretty well yesterday. She did get a little nasty, though, which went from 440 up to 510. She dropped down to 440. She is a little nasty. She's not a very nice little stock, a little, little risky. Um, she kind of, like, did most of her movement in the after hours and in the morning. But um, she is testing resistance levels from yesterday. And uh, actually, looks like she's breaking it, too. Got great orders out there, but not a lot. We're not getting that nice little, you know, 10,000, 100,000 orders out there. You got 3,000 right here, maybe. You know, it's not terrible, but uh, I think that one looks pretty decent. And then uh, that's about it. We got the spacing. So we don't really have a lot going on this morning, you know, not a lot. I mean, the market's down 100 points. We've been trending down a little bit here, you know, and uh, I guess it's the same thing that happened. I mean, you, you see the Senate trials actually – Start doing the impeachment. People are like listening a little carefully what, what to expect. Um, so I don't, there's not really that much out there other than the news regarding about this uh, bad virus that's in China. So I think that's what we're going to need to focus on. on. Keep it, keep your TV station on. Keep your ears on. Guys, you see something, you say something. So if there's a stock out there, we're going to jump on and capitalize on it. And trust me, listen, I'm just warning you right now. If you don't, someone else is going to do it, and you're going to kick yourself in the butt that you didn't do it. I've seen it before, you know, it's happened all the time and it's going to happen again, all right? 
So um, that's going to be really the kind of the play right now. And I told you this. What can make the market go up, what the market go down is catastrophes. And it looks like, you know, you got you got a little bit of run right here. I'm not serious it is. Sounds very pretty damn serious to me from what they're saying. But they don't want to cause any hysteria going on around here, around the world. But um, but keep an eye on those pharmaceutical stocks if there's anyone out there that might even have a post any type of news that think they have the cure for it. Good luck, everyone. Happy trading. And uh, don't forget, you got class today. And we'll see you back in uh, the afternoon for the afternoon meeting. So uh, just, be, uh, just be careful today. All right, guys? Good luck. Happy trading.